Hi, and welcome to the IT Service Management Foundation course based on ISO IEC 20000 and the 2011 version. Uh, my name is Dr. Suzanne Van Hove, and myself and my colleague, Mark Teifer, will be your instructors. Before we get started, we need to talk a little bit about the registered trademarks, and, and bear with us while we go through this because we have to read these directly. EIDL and the IT Infrastructure Library are registered trademarks of the Cabinet Office. ISO is a registered trademark of the International Organization for Standardization. IEC is a registered trademark of the International Electrotechnical Commission. COBIT is a registered trademark of ISACA and the IT Governance Institute. And lastly, CMMI is a registered trademark of Carnegie Mellon University. Now that we have the copyrights out of the way, let's look to see what this course is about. Okay, so what is the foundation course about? We're going to dive into the ISO 20000 standard and look at the various essential components for service management. The standard tells us what we must do in order to achieve best practice, while other frameworks within, within service management will tell us what we could do. And that's a big difference. So the standard is much more concise and precise in the, in the areas that you need to uh, address as you look at a service management adopt and adapt initiative. So we're gonna look at the essential components within 20,000. So within service management, we need to be able to understand, to define and agree service requirements. We need to plan the resources so we meet the business outcomes. And then we also need to support the service delivery so that we always provide value for the customer. Now this is very familiar if you have looked at ITIL or COBIT or CMMI. We all have, or those frameworks all have the requirements of meeting business need. Now the difference is again, the standard tells us what we must do while the other frameworks tell us what we could do. Other areas that we're gonna be discussing will be key information and, concept, and concepts for IT service management and its relationships with the IT information management areas. We'll also look at building the fundamental skills and knowledge that you will be able to participate uh, positively in a service management organizational team. You'll be able to do that because you understand the absolute necessity, the key concepts and the, the shells that you need to possess to, in, in order to achieve that best practice within your organization. We're also going to emphasize very strongly the service management system. This is a main differentiator between ITIL and uh, COBIT as well as CMMI and the 20,000 standard. The standard actually tells you what you need to do from a management perspective to manage the service delivery. It's not just about the processes. Now mind you, we will talk about processes and there are 13 key processes that we'll cover. The objectives then for this course will be to explain the core concepts of service management and the various quality frameworks. Understand that we're not bigoted toward one service management framework over another, but understand that the simplicity of 20,000 allows us to effectively use all of the frameworks as a body of knowledge, and that's quite powerful. We're also going to describe in some detail the service management system. Again, how do we manage IT service delivery? And we're going to be basing that on the application of the PDCA cycle from Deming, the Plan, Do, Check, Act. Again, every aspect of what we do from a management perspective is about delivering value to the business. From a high-level perspective, we're going to look at the concepts around the design and transition of a newer change service. That will be a very brief discussion, but very important, so you can see the bridge between a concept or a requirement from the business to the actual support of that new service through um, the various concepts within 20,000. We'll identify the objectives and the activities um, for the service management processes as well as their various quality requirements and how those processes need to perform. There are no course prerequisites for the foundation course. This course is open to anyone who has an interest in service management. 
The topics for this course um, will follow the structure of the standard. Now, you don't need a copy of the standard to be successful in this course. It won't hurt, but it's not required. We'll tell you the information that's necessary. If you choose to go beyond the foundation level, then a copy of the standard will be uh, most useful and required. So we're going to look at the topics of, you know, hey, we have to manage a service. Somebody has to do it, and how will we do it? That's going to cover within the SMS. We have to have everything to fit together in service management so it will um, operate smoothly, efficiently, and effectively. We'll also look at some complementary frameworks and how they relate to the 20,000 standard. We'll look briefly at IDLE and COBIT and CMMI for services, as well as a few other standards like the ISO 27000 family, which is inclusive of security principles. We'll look at service management as a global system. Understand that service management is not just IT, but it has to in, in, embed themselves throughout the entire organization. Service management is a philosophy and it is a framework and it has to be measured across the entire organization, not just IT. We'll spend time with the PDCA cycle, plan, do, check, act, and notice that that drives a continual improvement um, atmosphere within our organization. We'll spend a, f a little bit of time around the design and transition of services so that you understand the flow of how we'll get from requirements to the actual delivery, deployment and delivery of a new service. We'll look at the service delivery processes such as service level management, uh, capacity management, availability and continuity management and others. We'll look at the relationship processes and understanding that the key to a success has to be in the relationships that an organization will build. Those relationships would be with the customer as well as with the supplier. We'll look at the resolution processes, meaning we'll look at how incident management and problem management will act and react to the events of an infrastructure. We'll also include a discussion around service requests. And then we'll get into the control processes. Very vital, but there's little glamour when you start managing change or managing the information in a configuration management database. The final, um, final topic will be around the actual deployment of an approved change, and then we'll provide exam tips so that you may be successful on your foundation exam. The curriculum path for the 20,000 is, is very simple. We're going to start at the foundation level, which you can see uh, in the red outlined green box. Um, it will, your next step would be the associate level where we will deliver information that would allow you to be um, a semi-autonomous individual on a service management team. Still need some guidance. That guidance would come from that consultant manager. Notice off the associate that you could also go into auditing. If you um, have an organization within your company that would audit process or audit uh, business functionality, that's a class for you. It's based on uh, the auditing standard as well as 20,000. The capstone course for the 20,000 curriculum scheme is the executive consultant manager. In this course, you would do a live project under the direction of course tutors, and it would cover a span of three to four months. Last thing on this curriculum path that I would like you to notice is that there are two bridge classes, meaning if you have idle certificates, um, either at the intermediate level, the, the, the new version with the 2011, 2007, or V2, they do provide um, some relief, I suppose, if you want to say that, in terms of going after additional courses within 20,000, meaning you may not have to follow this complete path. Information can be gotten via email when you have a question, and we'll be happy to answer that. Exercises for this course, there are several, and they can be downloaded from the download section on the course page. Um, if you ever have any questions, use the question and comment box. Those questions will be answered by myself or my, my colleague, Mark Tyfer. Are you ready? Let's get started.